Do you claim any Irish heritage? Many Americans do, and a large share of the responsibility for the number of Irish Americans belongs to a certain stramena pile, uh, otherwise known as a basal eukaryote, or if you must say it, a protist. You might call it an oomycete. Uh, you should certainly not say a fungus. That's better. Within the stramenopila is a clade of organisms called the oomycota, or oomycetes. Sometimes they're called water molds because they grow in water and form mycelium like molds. Sometimes they're called egg fungi because they produce mycelium like fungi and they produce a large gamete like an egg called an oogonium. However, they do not share close common ancestry with mushrooms and the like and the kingdom fungi. But they do share many homoplasious characters that confused mycologists for many years before DNA techniques settled the question definitively. With only about 500 described species of oomycetes, the majority are confined to two orders, the Saprolegniales and the Paranospirales. The Saprolegniales is known for producing many freshwater species, which include some animal pathogens, but mostly detritophores, or organisms that feed on already dead matter. The Paranospirales includes a number of very important plant pathogens, including the genus Phytophthora, which means plant destroyer. Oomycetes are characterized by having a mycelial growth form, which means their bodies are comprised of microscopic threads. When they reproduce, by gametic meiosis, they produce a large spherical cell called an oogonium, which contains oospores. They also produce asexual spores called zoospores, so-called because they swim using two flagella, one with feathered appendages on it called a tinsel flagellum, and the other called a whiplash flagellum. These zoospores can swim through water to infect new hosts or to find detritus to feed upon. So why should you care about oomycetes? The similarity to true fungi is one interesting reason why students of evolution and biodiversity should learn about the oomycetes. Another reason is that other stramena piles we've studied include the brown algae and the diatoms. Both of these clades are important photosynthesizers. Oomycetes are heterotrophs, but they are descended from organisms that could photosynthesize. Many eukaryotes have the ability to photosynthesize by primary or secondary endosymbiosis, but few have opted to revert to a heterotrophic niche. A third reason to consider the water molds in a discussion of eukaryote biodiversity is the impact that these microscopic organisms have had on humanity. As I said at the beginning, one species of Oomycete, Phytophthora infestans, was pivotal in the Irish potato famine of the 1840s and led to the flight of millions of people out of Ireland and the birth of the scientific study of plant disease, otherwise known as plant pathology.